Welcome back, everyone. Kremlin Archer. No sleep. This buddy. The zombie coming out of the distance. We're still... We're still ridiculously tired. But I think I'm gonna see what I can do about not fixing that for the moment. But up ahead from where we are is a small, small little town that potentially could provide us with some more uh, stuff. This was not where I thought I was going, but... <laughs> a house is a house, is a house is a house. Um, actually, maybe we won't go here. It seems like a few too many... Oh. A few too many zombies around. Oh yeah, a lot more of them than I thought. So here's the here's the little town. But I would very much like to get into like this and some of the other places, but um not sure how successful we're gonna be in the middle of the night. So we might need to try and just get clear for a bit. And wait till morning. If we can find a house. It's a doctor's office. It might also have some useful things in it. I don't remember this building being here. I wonder if that was a new addition. Or if I'm just remembering incorrectly. If we can make this house work. We got three coming in at me already. Not a great start. <laughs> Try to get away. See if this works. We'll do a we'll go um squatsies here. In the night we might actually be able to make this work. Does lower our visibility some, but not a lot. Need to they don't see I don't seem to be losing them. <laughs> oh, still on me. If this house is open, we could go in and jump out the back and then circle around. But we'll see. If if it's not open, that's gonna not that's gonna make this a lot harder, but if it's unlocked and it is. Just so leave that like that. So most of those guys should be there. Let's see, we can use the trees. Of course, the one zombie is just randomly walking to the north where I need her to not be. So I might still have to kill that one, but we'll see. It's annoying when zombies just do that sometimes. They're just like, oh, I'm just going to walk this direction. I know it's the exact way that you're going. Sure, it's just a coincidence. <laughs> Trying to make this work. She's up and moving around. Alright, let's we're down to two. Okay. Alright, we killed all those guys. Let's hope that this house is empty. This is where I would like to hang out. There's a zombie back there. Let's try not to track their attention. Windows broken. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. Why not? All right, we're out. I always gotta love it when Zomboid has a nice sense of humor. 
All right, new strategy for the evening. Hang out in <laughs> on a deserted road and hope the zombies don't show up. Zombie found us. Let's um let's move. One of the problems is, is that that uh, that alarm stretches a long way, and so you get out here and you get zombies that are getting pulled by the alarm that weren't actually in the reality bubble, so they they don't actually they don't start moving until you get there, and then they start moving when you move back into their space. All right, in the morning we're gonna have to get out of ridiculously tired. We could go to just very tired, potentially, um, but I gotta clear this exertion, and that's just not gonna happen a zombie moving right there. That's not going to happen as long as we're uh, at, at the hot top level of exertion. There's a bunch of zombies walking across over here. Oh, they found us. They found me. Alright, it was a, it's backtracked a long way to one of the houses we looted earlier in the last episode and now I'm uh, just hanging out watching TV and then we'll deal with our ridiculously tiredness. And hopefully go back to that town. I really would very much like to get into that a couple of places there that hopefully will have stuff that'll be useful for us. <laughs> All right, here's the thing I would like to try. This is something I haven't checked on yet. So our coffee right now is listed as uncooked. The fatigue that it gives us is negative seven. If I cook it, do we get more? This is the this is the the big question that I have. I imagine it'll make the unhappiness better or like the happiness po buff better but I don't know if it'll give us more fatigue uh, fighting power uh, the answer is no okay that's fine mm, it's gonna be foggy today take some vitamins I don't want to go too far I just want to go I just want to get yeah very tired let me get like one vitamin shot deeper into very tired I just want my exertion to go away well before we leave let's um let's fill everything up uh oh, water's out. All right, we had our we've had our first thing go out. Water. Should've done some laundry. Jake not gonna be able to do now that the water's out. Should've done that yesterday. Water might have already been out then. Who knows? Let's go get this filled up. We're back to ridiculously tired, which is of course a problem. Apparently a bunch of zombies almost found us last night. <laughs> Just hanging out outside. Alright, I hate driving the fog, but... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, we're back here and I really do need to get gasoline. So... We might want to see what we can do about moving some zombies around. I mean, in the fog, the likely blues us pretty fast. So we probably won't have to carry them that far. Okay. Risky, but I'm gonna leave the car right here. <laughs> We're gonna see what we can do. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and drink this. Okay, never mind. They found me. I thought they would be have harder find trouble seeing me in the fog, I gotta admit. Is this door open? No, of course not. What about this one? Oh man. I really wanted to just take them into the laundromat and leave them there. <laughs> Try to use buildings to your advantage where you can. I'm entirely sure that's gonna work. They seem to have clustered over there, so maybe that works. We'll see. We're already back to ridiculously tired. Doesn't last long. Here's somebody. Oh, there's a bunch of them still. Oh well. Come on. Let's go for a walk, everybody. Losing you is going to be a little tricky. Oh, wow. Where'd all you come from? Oh god. This is like suddenly way more of them than I thought there were. <laughs> this is an important lesson in the fact that you are, uh... You are faster than zombies in almost all occasions. 
I am ridiculously tired and extremely panicked, and I'm still moving faster than them. Okay, made it into this little building here. Not exactly sure that's going to help me necessarily, but <laughs> one thing at a time. I'm trying to find a window I can bust out and go leave that direction. Now that was noisy, but I have found that breaking windows is not nearly as noisy as you would expect it to be. In the situation of attracting other zombies to you. Alright, we made it across. Let's see about filling up the car before anything else. Somebody's coming. I'll try to hold this as long as I can. Are. Is it just you? Or do you have any friends? As friends. We are also, by the way, we're five days in, which means that the helicopter is a distinct possibility at any point now. It's no, by no means a guarantee, but it, it could show at any moment. Seven days is the most uh, most common time. If nothing else, maybe we can get some uh, some more bottles of vitamins while we're in here. Hey, fresh burger. Hey, four bottles of vitamins. Don't mind if I do. I would not have expected it to be vitamins that we had. We we started having a huge surplus of. Take some money. Still need to find my suitcase. I really, I was expecting it to be coffee that we um, found more of. Yeah, I'm starting to get super overloaded here. More vitamins. Well, wow. glad I came here. We've had, what, six bottles of vitamins? Alright, before we leave this area, I really would like to get over to that doctor's office. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out. The fog is starting to lift. That is both good and bad. See if that door was open. Affects my planning. too many zombies with this car. It's not exactly in uh, fighting shape anymore. <laughs> I'll try to take these guys over here and then slot and then uh, circle back on the doctor's office. car. Ooh, that was a bad, a bad time for it to start having problems. Alright, let's, let's try and do this fast at this point. Which 
sure if leaving the car running is the right move or not. But too late to change it now. You know what? Give me the mouse trap. I, I think I need to learn that there's not vitamins in these places. I keep think expecting to find vitamins here and not finding them. So I need to re reassess my uh, my notions of what's going to be in what place. Oh, hello. <laughs> That was not what I thought was going to be there. I thought there would be a few zombies. Definitely not expecting that many. Not really cut out to, for running at the moment. There's one zombie by the car. Let's, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah, come to this side of the car. Alright. <laughs> Woo! I still want to see what this building over here is, because this this building over here is, seems to be a new one. It's not one I I recognize as having been in this area before. It's like a just a store, just a store store, a general store. But this seems like Air Force coveralls. Sure, why not? <laughs> Hunting knife. I don't think I have one of those yet. Or if I do, I only have one Air Force helmet. Excuse me. Is this just supposed to- a machete? Okay, um, this is supposed to be like what? An army surplus store? Another? Machete? What- what is going on here? Ghillie suit torso? <laughs> I'm so- I'm so weirded out now. Um... Okay. See, not things I was expecting to find here. I had no idea this was here. This was definitely didn't used to be here. I don't have any map- Weird map things installed, right? Large backpack? Okay, um... Just gonna grab these for the moment because there's apparently we've attracted some friends, and we'll worry about this later. Air Force coveralls again. Okay. Yeah, this is supposed to be a. This must be supposed to be a um, army surplus store. I wonder if it has a back door. Well, not there. Uh, well, you can go out that window. That'll count. That'll work. and take damage from carrying too much stuff. Which is fair. Well, I'm glad I found this. It's not what I was looking for, though, which was, um, you know, a store that would have coffee in it. <laughs> Alright, let me cruise up here to what I think is empty space so we can do some inventory sorting. Alright, with the stuff that's potentially available in that place, I'm thinking it might actually be worthwhile to try and um, reduce my tiredness to an effective fighting level and see what we can what we get out of there. Alright, we've got a we're pretty much right in the middle of tired at this point. Hopefully exertion will drop as I drive back. Swap to the machete, which does a little bit better job of killing stuff. <laughs> With like get luck one of, get lucky one of these will drop the uh um the key for this place. Which give us access to the back. No key so far. Ghillie suit. So the ghillie suit is, is silly more than anything else um, because it doesn't actually do anything to, to make it harder for the zombies to see you. Military bulletproof vest. Okay. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, and some cabbage seeds, of course. You're at the army surplus. You need to buy some some strawberry and cabbage seeds. Why not? Yeah, these are these are more just random junk junk uh, things. Well, I can't help but notice none of that random junk includes coffee or tea. 
Oh, you got the emergency broadcast system. I might try to take that with us too. Although I think those things weigh like 20 pounds. Oh. I guess, do I want to invest in this? I think I do. Since we're all the way out here, let's invest in some stamina and breaking this door down. Lots. Hey, what axe? Lots of weapons that I will never use. Take the shotgun shells. Take these two guns if I can. I'm starting to run out of space here. I now have a shotgun. I don't basically don't really use guns um, in the game, but I will take shotgun shells. So I will occasionally use uh, shotguns. I need to fire up a completely unmodded game just to be sure that there's not that there's nothing that this this building is not being created by one of the random spawn mods that I have turned on, which is the only mods I have turned on is the random spawn stuff, but. So there's possible stuff in there because that's food stuff. The only other place I really want to try and see if we can get into, because I don't have a lot of faith in our ability to get into the, the other place we were just looking at. Oh, never mind. We're not getting in here either. It was going to be this place. <laughs> it's a food place. We ain't getting in there though. Alright, I think I'm gonna call this this trip out here um, successful and head back to the our safe house. Even though we've almost used up all the coffee we found, what we do we still have a whole bunch of vitamins, which is which is something. Keep us going for a while. Certainly won't be our last trip out this way, I'm sure. But I don't want to. Uh, to push too hard and end up getting killed. I don't bring it up very often, but if you're looking for ways to support the channel, the best thing obviously you can do is watch the videos, but um, if you're hearing this, you already are doing that. But one of the ways in which you can support the channel that puts the most money in, in uh, my pocket instead of in, say, like Twitch's pocket or YouTube's pocket is over on Patreon. Patreon obviously takes a cut, but it's substantially lower than... Um, than Twitch or YouTube, so if you're looking for ways to support the channel, consider uh, joining the Patreon. Uh, links in the uh, on my channel page. I am, uh, of course, always humbled by the support you've all given me, and uh, and I think we'll stop the game here for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. I am, as always, Chromium Nurture, and I'll see you guys later.